What's up everybody? I'm Alex from Boards, Bikes, and Hikes. And recently I posted a short showing some ways that you can help maximize your GoPro's battery life in some cold weather. So what I wanted to do with this video is elaborate a little bit more on each one of those things just because the short's 15 seconds. This is going to allow me to go into a little bit more detail and explain why each of these techniques works. What I wanted to start with is to put some sort of skin, like they make a silicone sleeve, or as you can see, I have a wind cover that helps block the wind noise out of the microphone. Put that over top of your GoPro. What that's going to do is help protect it from that initial cold wind chill that's going to be coming in. It's just going to give it a little bit of a layer to help keep the wind and the elements from hitting it as hard. Now, another tip that was in this video was to leave your camera on and running. So as opposed to doing the traditional turn it on, start recording, hit the record button, shut it off. Don't do that in colder weather. What you want to do, power it up, leave it running, and then just start and stop your recordings while leaving the camera powered on the entire time. What this is going to do is allow that camera to be running, working, and it's going to allow it to generate a little bit of its own heat. And with that sleeve, skin, cover, whatever you have, that's going to help incubate that temperature a little bit and keep your camera warmer than if it was just out in the wind fully exposed. Keeping it running is going to keep it warm because if you're turning it off and on, it's getting cold every time you're not using the camera. This is going to keep that camera running and even though, yes, it's going to sound a little counterintuitive because you're going to think, well, I'm using my battery life. Well, this is going to keep that camera warm and even when it's turned off in the cold, your battery is slowly draining anyway. So this is going to help keep that warmer. I've actually tested this now several times and I've had a lot more luck with the battery life of this camera. So the third tip that I put in there was to put some hot hands. You're going to take them out of the package, rip them up, shake them up, get them nice and hot and store them in whatever uh, backpack pocket, pants pocket, jacket pocket, whatever. Put the hot hands in the pocket with your batteries. What's that going to do? is help keep those batteries warm. Because like I said, when the batteries are getting cold, that battery percentage is gonna slowly start draining, even if you're not using the battery, even when the battery's not in the camera. I always try to keep them in my backpack when it's really cold. I keep it in a like softer area of the backpack. It has actually like a sunglasses pocket, but I store all my batteries in there. And then if it's really cold, I'll put a hot hand in there to help keep those batteries warm, just to get a little bit more life out of the battery, keep them warm and keep it from draining before I ever use the battery. Because I have had it in the past where I went to go put a, what I thought was a fresh battery, it was fully charged that morning, put it in the camera and it was already at like 60 something percent, which is really disappointing, especially you know in those colder weathers or when you're out on these mountains that you might not get to ride every day. So I hope these tips help you out. I will leave a link in the description below of this video of all the, the mic cover for the GoPro, the hot hands, you know, whatever you're going to need to help maximize that battery life. So check that out down below if you're interested in picking any of that stuff up. So if you saw my initial video with the Hero 10, I was a little bit disappointed in its battery life performance in Colorado. However, these are tips that I acquired from various comments, watching some other videos, this and that. And so I wanted to help share those with you because these three tips have actually changed the my opinion on the Hero 10. They've made it a lot better. I've grown to like using it a lot more. I'm getting more battery life out of it. I've tested all these, they all work. So I definitely wanted to share those with you and explain why each of them worked. The fourth bonus tip, pick up an Enduro battery. I'm posting a review, if it's not out already, of my experience with the Enduro battery. Definitely worth spending the extra $5 because it does add a significant amount of battery life to your camera. So the Enduro battery paired with these three tips, I'm having a lot more luck. I'm a lot happier with my Hero 10 purchase. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please do me a huge favor. Smash that like button. It's going to really help me out. Maybe it's going to push this video out to somebody else who's struggling to get the battery life out of their action camera. So. Hopefully we can help everybody because those skiers, snowboarders, snowmobilers, whatever. I mean, nobody wants to have a camera that's constantly dying in cold weather. So thank you guys for watching this video and I appreciate it. I'll see you all in the next one soon.